The following presentation may contain language unsuitable for children's TV enthusiasts, adult virgins, and estranged mothers. Unnamed Drag Productions accepts no responsibility for any resulting night terrors, third degree burns, or demonic possessions that may transpire as a result of listening to this sewage sprinkler. May God have mercy on your soul. Enjoy! Unnamed Drag Podcast! I know you were born ready, but let me know when you're like ready, ready. I'm born sad. You don't have to get sad. And let me know. Let me know when you're ready, Brack. <laughs> Means nothing. That's what I set my contour with. <laughs> ready, Brack. What funny. color is ready, Brack? Isn't it just white? It's essentially what they did with ready, Brack. Is they just gave they gave Gruel a makeover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they made Gruel cool. They were like, oh, what if there was a dragon and you had to use a microwave? Like, Mary, that's gruel. Yeah. That's watered down porridge. Please, sir, can I have some less? That's, that's mashed up rusks. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. Mashed, mashed up, up rusks. rusks. That's, that's out of date. That's the out of date shit from Sma. Dehydrated. And put into a packet. Welcome back, everybody. I feel very strongly about Ready Breck today. And my Do you name work is at Na- Ready Breck? <laughs> my name is Nana Arthol, and I feel very strongly about Ready Breck. My name is Marilyn Sane, and I am the problem. <laughs> my name is Marilyn Sane, and I'm indifferent about <laughs> breakfast cereals. Whereas for me, it's more of a passion project. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If it's not Cinnamon Graham's, like, oh, who gives a fuck? Great drag name. Cinnamon Graham. Cinnamon Graham's. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a great drag name. It is a good one. Cinnamon! <laughs> Whereas <laughs> my would obviously be just cornflake. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> Bran. I kind of like it. Yeah. They're like, oh, mm. like, uh, like, uh, what, what was that? Oh, God. Did we come up with this or was it someone else? Bram Stroker. Oh, that's Like good. a horny vampire. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Bram Stroker. I don't know. I feel like we maybe we got it from somewhere. I feel like we as a as a human race came up with yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. We did it together. Yeah. And speaking of things people have done together, welcome back to part two of our worst date special, where we take material that other people wrote and pass it off as our own because that's all that drag is at the end I of mean, the day. Yeah. Let's be honest. I'm putting darling. on a tube and pretending I don't have a willy. <laughs> I'm putting on a tube, but I don't need to pretend. Oh, my finger. <laughs> uh, so yeah, welcome back for part two. If you didn't hear your own confession in uh, part one, then hold on to your hats. Yeah. You might hear in this, this episode. Uh, or alternatively, um, it might have got lost on the night. So, yeah, we yeah. drink. Yeah, <laughs> I think I remember screwing up some of them and tossing them over my shoulder. Oh, that's helpful. Yeah, <laughs> but I was throwing them at Baby Town. Yeah. So they were just like on the DJ booth afterwards. Yeah, so, so we probably eaten So them. I was like... No, in baby tap. Well, it's keto, it's keto dieting, isn't yeah, it? You, know you can I mean? only eat paper. Yeah, you're in ketosis. No, wait, that was what was that? I'm What's on the, the ballerina diet. I'm on the Japanese porn star diet. What? I can only eat paper. No, that's that's a legitimate ballerina <laughs> diet tactic. What? Eating toilet paper. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It fills you up. Yeah, but, I, I. But then you get a blockage. I buttered mine. <laughs> I only eat paper, but it's deep fried, so. <laughs> yeah, because, like, you can scrunch it up into a bowl, mm-hmm. and then you could just, like, breadcrumb it. <laughs> and get breadcrumbs. Mm. Dip, dip. Into the air fryer. <laughs> For 30 minutes. You burn your hearts down. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Have you, have you ever like held toilet paper to a naked flame? No. Like that is fuel, mama. Like it goes oh. up easier than regular paper. It goes up easier than I do. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Anyway, so Marilyn, would you like to kick us off? You already know the drill. You've come back for the ride. If you didn't buckle see up, episode- buckle up, buckle up. If you didn't see episode one, watch it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and if you uh, also, if you didn't see episode one, um, nobody knows that I have a mouth ulcer. Oh, I'm being really brave. Oh, no one knows my tummy hurts. Mm, oh, no one knew. So brave. I kept my camera off so I could cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Welcome to the funny. Have anyway. you been crying? <laughs> <laughs> okay. First one to the table. I couldn't <laughs> couldn't stop talking on a date, and the lad stopped me mid conversation and said, "All you do is chat so much shit." That's it. That's- but- that sounds like someone went on a date with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? Sometimes there can be a silence. You don't have to fill it with nervous energy. Has anyone ever and told I'm just you like, that? I think you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you shut your white mouth. If I see a gap, I just want to fill it. Oh. What can I say? Which is how I got pregnant. Mm. With oh. gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Fuck's sake. Next one. Uh, I uh-huh. went on a date and ended up getting drunk and sleeping with him. Oh, and he was a virgin. <gasps> oh. And he had no clue what to do. Um, okay, so that's it, fine. So it was like every hole was a goal in five minutes. <laughs> so Sometimes like, that's fun. Do you know though. what? If this is my first time, just like, uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> like trying try to put it everywhere so that I can say that, like, <laughs> I've done oral and anal uh-huh. and full penetration, yeah. you know, like whatever. Yeah, the ankle hole. And they'd be like, oh my God, how many people have you slept with? Well, just one. one. <laughs> But I mean, and you say with. Sure, I made sure I got. Yeah, they they slept at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were more just a, a captive audience to my fucking. Oh no! Oh what? I had to, I had to. Oh, that's more. I had to stop him and ask what he was doing, and he started crying. <laughs> oh baby. Oh no! I quite. Here's the thing. He's like, oh, I don't even like you. <laughs> Have you ever been with someone like inexperienced and over enthusiastic? Is that how you got on that register? <laughs> they weren't enthusiastic. No. Um, crying. <laughs> Have you been crying? I mean, I've, I've been with people who are like, not great, but I don't know about their experience. Like, yeah. Because a lot of your hookups, it's like, you could assume that they were inexperienced because they weren't very good, but they could have actual fact just have never been told that what they're selling, no one's yeah, buying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been with um, guys who profess to be straight. Mm. Who... Of course we have. Yeah, absolutely. Who yeah. are enthusiastic. It's like, do you want to see a really big clitoris? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh but no! Yeah, that, that level of enthusiasm is sometimes kind of hot. Yeah, definitely. I don't mind it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just first time at Disneyland. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Third date. <laughs> Drank so much, puked in his hands whilst naked in bed. Married for 17 hey, years. Hey! I remember we've you got. You win! I remember there's a few of those in here. <laughs> yeah. Which are like. Da, 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 da. Still together now. Yeah. We're here on a date. <laughs> Two years in. I'm pregnant with his child. <laughs> yeah, exactly. With gift cards. <laughs> We're calling them gift and card. It's twins. <laughs> yeah, I love that though. Yeah. I, like, I, I like. I think that's nice because it's very you energy. Yeah. Yeah. You know because what? the one night stand that never went home. Exactly. Yeah. From shit grows flowers. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I know I'm so wise. Um, I was seventeen. He turned up with four pounds. Took me on a walk through the city. Pissed in an underpass. Took coke and told me that he could kill his whole family and not care. Bought himself a drink and made me pay for his bus home. Oh, no. uh, asked for my number. Parenthesis. No thanks. <laughs> this sounds like... Okay, so this sounds like someone our age because we all went on that date. When yeah. we were 17, you met on MSN. Yeah. And, like, yeah, and, yeah, and you yeah. met... And plus... Ask also, for, I'm uh, like, you were 17. How old were they? Yeah, but also asked for your number on the date. Yeah. That's the giveaway. Because yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it was very much... Oh, I'll meet you one o'clock at the Lions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they didn't show up... Yeah. You just wait for 15 minutes. You just have to kill yourself. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Wait 15 minutes and then go to China One and eat a mountain of, like, black bean sauce. China One. It was so good. It was. I don't even care that it was mostly Alsatian. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't... It was good. It was good food. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care about the fact that it got shut down for several health and safety violations. I don't care that I found a pigeon ring in my food. (laughs) The, the way it was a rat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. It was good and it was cheap. Oh, it was so good. I used to yeah. scramble for change in my house so that I had enough money to get, to the, get bus, the bus, to go to, to get China, China one on my own. Oh, wow. Then I'm I used to go, bus. yeah, then I used to go to Forbidden Planet, walk around and look at the Buff, Buffy merchandise I couldn't afford and go home. I didn't have many friends. I'm actually <laughs> <the> guy- <laughs> Carry on. I matched with a guy on Tinder. Um, a few days later, chatted to a guy on Grinder. We met for a hookup after his long-term relationship had just ended. One of them said they were getting back with their ex. The one from Tinder then found out I'd hooked up with them both. <gasps> oh no! Very embarrassing seeing them at the same time now. What? 
Oh, very embarrassing seeing them all the time now. Oh, no. But so, again, like, they got back together, and again, in, in that break period, yeah, that's, that's not on you. That's not on you. No. And also, yeah. Yeah. If they, if they were broken up, broken we up. We were on a break. I, I was trying really hard not to go there, but exactly. Yeah. Like, I think if it was a breakup, breakup. Yeah. Who gives a shit if you're fucking some like sucking dick and cock within 24 Suck hours? Dick. That's up to you. It's yeah. up to you how you deal with your separation. If you're separation. broken up. However, if you were just taking some time, it's a different matter, isn't it? If that's communicated. If, thank you. Mm-hmm. Communication is key. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's why I haven't talked to my husband for six months. (laughs) (laughs) I took a bow of silence. Um, So I I love this because this reads like something out of fucking Sweet Valley High. He was in the nerd group. We were the cool group. Can I make it any more obvious? (laughs) I don't know this version of Skater Boy. (laughs) Uh, we went to the cinema as a group because we had mutual friends. Afterwards, we went to McDonald's and threw chips at them. But Okay, do you know what? They weren't the core group. They were bullies. Yeah, you were a bully. You were the bullies <laughs> in an 80s teen film. Don't throw shoot at yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. people stop it in the world and you're throwing chips at people. Yeah, uh, but we've been together for 20 years. Wow. It's one of them. You two fucking deserve each other. Yeah, because, <laughs> because you, bully, you bullied them into marrying you. Because you're a bully. Bully. <laughs> Asshole. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm sure you're a lovely person. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, a guy rubbed his bald head on me, gave me his granny's necklace, and said he loved me on the first date. What? <laughs> do you know what you can do on a first date? Throw that necklace into the ocean. <laughs> then wait for 84 years. No, you can you can bring them like... Uh, people's. People now say maybe don't bring uh, flowers, but what's really cute is to give someone a plant. Oh yeah, that's because a plant because a plant like doesn't die. It's yeah, a bit but fuck it uh, to get it home if you go out for cocktails. Yeah, like, <laughs> gonna spend the whole night. Here is a piece, Lily. Yeah, like, do you what? know what I mean. See, like, I, I'm not a fan of a gift on a first date. Just show up and ring yourself. Uh, but also, like, don't give me an obligation. Yeah, I think. Um, what am I even gonna feed that? <laughs> <laughs> I brought you a dolphin. I brought you a tamagotchi. Yeah. With four bars of health, it's impossible to kill it. Just don't turn it off. Um, but yeah, like, I, I think that you can bring, like, a, li- a little something. I think that that's kind of cute. But uh, I, I, like, I need to give them something. A family heirloom is too much. Yeah, that's an obligation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. If you're going to give them jewelry... I want my necklace back! Even a friendship bracelet is too fucking much yeah, for weird. a first day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Why BFF forever, spelled out in beads. <laughs> Been there. No I'm kidding. Hi. <laughs> it's really nice to meet you. Um, I got you a loom band. <laughs> what? What are we doing? I, I don't get it. Why Why gifts? I don't. Yeah. Pay but, for dinner. If you want to get me something, get me food. I got you some jewellery, but I've kept the receipt in case you want to change it into some Claire's. Yeah. <laughs> I it's, wouldn't be mad about it. I've bought jewellery. I'd be like, I want some clipping extensions. Yeah, give a shit. Yeah. Fight me. I want um, a tiara. I. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. What an exciting choose your own adventure this is. I was on a first date. We'd been in the pub for seven hours. We'd agreed to go home together. I lent into we- a whisper sweet uh, sweet nothings and asked, have you got a wide on? The mood changed. She turned and said, don't you ever say that again. 18 months later, we're still together. Hey! And it's nice <laughs> to know that they given a second chance. Your equivalent of sweet nothings is... <laughs> After being in the pub for seven hours, that's a long time. That's a day. Yeah, that's yeah, good that's though. a work day. Yeah, well done. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> seven hours in the pub and you can still get it up. Good for her. Yeah, you wonderful. still get it wide. That you, that you didn't just get home, starfish in the double bed, and go full. <laughs> Snoring so much, the neighbors think you're being murdered. Yeah, lovely. Okay, okay. is someone felling a tree? Like uh... <laughs> someone deep throwing a chainsaw? <laughs> okay. Uh. I met a guy on the bus commute commuter route. Never a great. <laughs> that's not where you meet people. If you meet someone on the bus, mm. do you want to meet someone on the bus? Okay. Um, seemed like a nice guy. Mm, red flag. <laughs> Quite arty and poetic. Several flag. Flag. <laughs> <laughs> Had every beer he's ever drank on a shelf above his bed. <laughs> Are we skiing down a hill? I'm yeah. seeing a lot of red flags. Right. <laughs> so we agreed to do A lot of footballers are being sent off. <laughs> That's 
a red card. Oh shit. <laughs> Sportesque. I know. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, go on. So I agreed to a date. When we met, the when we met, the first thing he did was give me his CV. Okay. Not even a cover letter. Right, but, sure. Okay. Um I said it was a date, not a job interview. He then got his phone and showed me naked pics of his mate on a skateboard. Where is this going? I don't remember this one. Do it, you? No, no, I do. I do. Oh, do you remember I remember the one? naked skateboard. Um, it got weirder, so I made my excuse and exited by the window oh, in the lady. No. <laughs> oh, I didn't think people really did that. Do people do that? Oh, Apparently so. To be fair, if if you window in the box. if you've been handed in real life. The naked... premise of an episode of a sitcom, yeah. you might as well climb out the fucking yeah. window. Why not? Like the ending of the episode of a sitcom. Yeah, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? That's hilarious. I, I, I feel... See, here's the thing. I feel too You would have fucked that guy. Yeah, so... <laughs> and his mate. Bring the skateboard. <laughs> the whole skateboard. Yeah. I would have made him ollie up my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, want to see my half butt? <laughs> oh, grind on this. Oh, oh what like... you do, sixty? But Minus whatever equals 69. Also, showing people nudity on a first date is yeah. probably a little... Fast it's kind of a, it, it can be perceived as a little bit aggressive. Yeah, depending yeah, on definitely. depending on how the conversation's gone. If you're already, like, lolling that way yeah. anyway, then I guess. But, like, here's a picture of my naked friend to the yeah. point where you feel like you have to climb out of a window. Mm-hmm. I'm too polite. Yeah. I wouldn't climb out of the... A, I'd have fucked that guy. B... I'd have been like, I don't think this is going well. Yeah. We should just be friends. Mm -hmm. And then never speak to them again. Or nothing. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. We should just be friends. If by friends it means I'm going to block you. Yeah, we should just be friends. Yeah. Of the church. (laughs) Oh my God. We should become Quakers. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) But go to separate meetings. We should build a barn. (laughs) Uh, I went on a date with a man who writes about tits for the Daily Star. <laughs> there's no, there's job. nothing wrong about there's nothing wrong with writing about tits. There's everything wrong about doing it for the Daily yeah. Star. Pick it really de- it battles. really depends on the environment with that's that. Somebody's job. Yeah, because that's not I pen erotica. It's I go. This is Cassidy. She's got an A level in physics, and here are her areolas. Oh my god. My favourite, though. The sun. My favourite thing. Page three girls. Yeah. Yeah. The the interview. Yeah. Because I always feel a little bit like they were asked a leading question and then they just said yes or no. Have you seen that Twiggy interview? just like, you know, when they were just like, so what do you think about uh, the European Union? And they'd be like, oh, well, I think it's a blah, blah, blah. Just like, no, I always feel a little bit like they were spoon fed there. Yeah, totally. Because the thing is, I'm not saying that they didn't have agency or like the wherewithal to have that level of intelligence. So you think people in glamour models are stupid? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that the answer would always be so specific to some other fucking hate campaign that they were running that it was too convenient that that was exactly how they said it because it would be a quote like they'd said it verbatim Mm -hmm. and then you would turn to like you know four pages later and read that exact same sentence that was written by one of the journalists you've read the sun too thoroughly I used to work in a call centre people would buy the sun and then it would just be like passed around first of all call centre second of all a copy of the sun yeah a copy of the sun no wonder you're depressed a copy of the sun (laughs) A copy of the sun in several copies of the Metro would always yeah, end up the Metro's like right. somewhere. So, but also, dear Deirdre, the Sudoku puzzles lit. Have you seen that interview with Twiggy? Which it's, one? It's, it's from way back in there, obviously. It's like it's twi- Twiggy. Twiggy yeah. in a heyday, and this yeah. interview. She doesn't do anything anymore other than ab fan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And she doesn't need to. Um, she's fucking Twiggy. So, yeah, quite me. and um, this interview is like, who's your favorite philosopher? And she's like, what? He's like, who's your favourite philosopher? Go on, name one. She was like, I don't know, who's yours? And then he was like, um, I like them all, really. She was like, go on, name one. He's like, oh, just, just general philosophers. She was like, no, name one. And he was like, anyway. And she looks at the camera like, 
<laughs> Fucking baller. I dun, love it. Yeah. That's the same thing as when Ariana Grande. Good for her. Ariana Grande was asked, oh, you're, um, you're marooned on a desert island. Oh. You can only take your makeup or your phone. And she was like, is that? Is yeah. that what you think yeah, women yeah. have to choose to? Like, they have to pick between makeup yeah. and their phone. They're not drag queens. There was one. I think, it was, <laughs> I think it was Doja Cat or Dua Lipa. I can't remember. But the interviewer is this guy, this, this straight man, I presume. Mm, sorry. Um, Oh, no. And he says, um, "Oh, someone said you write music for gay people." And she went, "I do." And the and the room goes, oh, and they just the room goes silent. And she goes, "So what now?" <laughs> it's so good. It's fucking delicious. Should be fattening. And anyway, another one is the Lady Gaga one. Ooh, go on. When she's wearing the purple wig and she's got the sunglasses on, and they they always talk they. It, like she says, you know, because if I was a guy and I was talking about like drinking mm. and monster trucks and fucking, you know, girls, you'd say I was a rock star. Yeah. But, you know, you always trying to put it that it's coming from this like different perspective. And she was just like, and, but I do. I love male culture and fucking girls yeah. and monster trucks and fast cars. And I am a rock star. I'm a fucking rock star. Exactly. But the interviewer is French, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Lost in translation. That's French. For transvestite. <laughs> <laughs> I was so anxious to go on a gay speed dating night. My friends all made me go. Oh, no. And write questions to ask. Oh, no. And nobody turned up. Oh, no. And you organised it. <laughs> oh, oh no. baby. I'm oh, so right. sorry. I didn't organise it. I was hosting it. Yeah. I was working. You were visibly responsible. I was working with a little community group. Who were trying to bring like different events to yeah. Nottingham. Gay speed dating is a great idea. It was a great idea, but just yeah, literally no one turned up apart from that one person. Oh. I know. What did they do? What I, did you do? We just hung out for a bit. That's cute. Like and chatted and made some jokes about the fact that like no one came. Yeah. Uh, and then we just called called it time of death. Okay. Yeah. That was also back in the day when I was working for like Uber fees. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean? It was like... Oh, the, like you got being, paid £4.80. Yeah, you're being yeah. paid the cost of a taxi. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> like Sounds you, like a great, really, like, life-affirming event. You take your makeup off and get the bus home so that yeah. it doesn't eat into it too much. <laughs> but then you send them an invoice for a taxi you got two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was 20 quid. Yeah, definitely. Wow, weird. Um, this one says... Oh, I, I remember this. This one's fire. Got really drunk and went home with his identical twin, but didn't realise until the morning after. That's that's <laughs> okay. First of all, twins are sexy. Yeah. Second sure. of all, that sounds like fun. That's a, that's not embarrassing. That's not a worst. That's a best date. Also, the you're drunk and the how drunk is the identical yeah. twin? Whose fault is this? Ah, da, 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 da. Do they know that you think that you're their brother? Yeah. Like there's a whole there's other layers to it. Yeah. But also, if you got dicked down by the twin with the bigger dick, right? If they were fraternal and not whatever the other one is, dicktonal. If they were the fratellis, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, I went on a karaoke date with a guy who seemed great. Okay, don't take first date on karaoke. That's a trial by <laughs> that, fucking fire. That was isn't your it? first mistake. I hate karaoke. Absolutely. Okay, I went on a karaoke date with a guy who seemed great. Few Man. drinks before karaoke. I mean, I seem great until you take me to karaoke. Right. <laughs> Who told you you seem great? <laughs> Who took me to karaoke? Someone lied to us several times. <laughs> okay. Few drinks before karaoke, all went fine. So they go for drinks first, that's a good idea. Mm. Um, got to the pub where the karaoke were. What? <laughs> got to the pub for the karaoke. We're having fun. He said he was popping to the cash machine. He never came back. Oh, Don't baby. get me started on the guy who shook my hand at the end of the day. Oh, honey. That's a twofer. Oh. Oh, bebis. Oh, God. You took a guy karaoke. Dating's been bad to you. And he never <laughs> came back. Did you then have to pay? Settle the tab. Oh. Do you know what I would do? Do you know what I would do? Oh. I've got that booth to myself. I'm gonna order. Oh, bye. I'm gonna, I'm gonna order some drinks and I'm gonna work my feelings no. out. Abs are fucking lootly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm That's gonna really go. Bad. I'm gonna go full of Gretzuku. Yeah, there's gonna be noise complaints. Yeah, you yeah. know Gretzuku, right? No. The Red Panda, the anime. 
I, I know of Red she, Pandas. Uh, she sings. So she sings death metal at karaoke to get out her frustrations about her office job. Good for her. It's lit. I yeah, understand it's that. pretty lit. That's a, that's a struggle we can yeah. all relate to. Um, oh God, this is a two pager. Oh look, do you want to swap? Yes. <laughs> I feel like you've you been reading, English degrees. You, you've been reading lo- I've been reading sentences yeah, yeah. and you've been reading pieces. Been like, my name is Ishmael. <laughs> In the beginning. It was the best of times. It was the best of times. Oh, God. Anyway. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Oh. Uh, I went on my first date when I was in my late 30s. The guy took me That's to... That's your a... first date? I know. Sweetie. Do, do you know what? What? Uh, I'll go, I'll go back to it, actually, because yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, okay, okay. I, I have something to say. <laughs> Put a pin in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the guy took me to a nice restaurant uh, beside a beach. Lovely. The meal was good. The conversation this was... This is a great The festival. conversation was non-existent. Oh. I was looking at the moon on the sea, listening to the surf, when I looked back at my date and he was sleeping. Oh, no. But then they went to a club afterwards and I ended up dancing with other guys as he fell asleep again. I feel like he had narcolepsy. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, we got back to mine because I was desperate. We started to kiss and his hand drifted down to my pantyless crotch. His fingers rubbed my clit and it was feeling good. Then it started to burn, really burn. He had used his hands to eat hot pepper and he <gasps> had washed his hands. Oh my god! Spicy fingies! Oh no! Ooh. Okay. Oh, there's a lot to unpack there. There is. Okay, so just very quickly, hit it, Queen. I hope that this didn't put this individual off because I have a friend whose sister is like late to the dating game. Yeah, yeah. And the first guy that she saw, she thought it was like going really well and whatever, but then he kind of like called it quits, and she was absolutely devastated. Aww. And it was like you have to realize that yeah, you've got you've got to dating late in the game. You're now going through bullshit that most people have done in their teens. Yeah. So you can't just assume that the first person that you meet, yeah. much like when you're a teen and you're just like first love, this is gonna last forever. Like it, it's not. So you can't be put off. If, if you're yeah. arriving late to the game, it's the same with people who, like, come out. Mm-hmm. The first person that you go out with, you know, quite possibly won't be the individual who's going to be your, like, happy ever after yeah. or whatever. So much for yeah. my happy e- Equally, that same person has been fingered before by their husband after he'd been chopping chilies and then not washed his hands. Oh, no. <laughs> equally, the husband who's not washing his hands after he's chopping chilies, he's sometimes forgotten to, t- like, wash his hands after and then taken his contact lenses off. <gasps> not, not, f- not, with, not with the chili incident. Fool me once. Shame but, on you. But, Fool like, me twice. Uh, you know, oh you're, you're like, bang, 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 <laughs> yeah. and then you take your contact lenses out without rinsing, rinsing off your fingers. He has had, like, such a bad eye infection that you had to wake up every two hours throughout the night to put eye drops in. This cunt needs to learn it's, from his mistakes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, it's such a bad eye infection, it's got its own special name. At what point do you just stop eating chilies? No, 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 but the, the, the fecal matter in the eye thing as well. That had happened twice. And he was... This guy needs to learn no, 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 to wash no, 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 his no, no, fucking... He, this guy's patient he, zero. He was like, why does this keep on happening? Why wash your I, hands. What's the problem? Why do I keep getting this eye infection? And then was like, oh, I need to... After I put my finger in the bum bum... Wash... Not take my contact lenses out immediately afterwards. But I think... I think... As a contact lens wearer and someone who spends enough time around buttholes, you would just get nonchalant about it. I guess. But do you know like, what I mean? You're like, I put my penis at your butthole. Like, what is a finger matter? Okay, but like, no, 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 no. no but no, do you no. know what I mean? That's that's how you could overlook it. I guess. I mean, but this he, has can, happened he can't several over, times. He can't overlook anything. He can't even fucking open yeah. his eye. <laughs> The chilies, the chilies in the eye, the chilies in the vagina, the several <laughs> bouts of poo in the eye. You get the message. Two rounds of the same, like, you know, eye. intensive eye drop treatment. Poo yeah. eye. <laughs> poo eye. But also, where's this person dating? A beach? Yeah. A restaurant on a beach? They first date flew me to Turkey. Yeah, like, what? like bring your passport. Oh, get it, bitch. But then it was the, the Tinder Swindler and they just like copied their ID. The Tilda Swinton. It was the, it was Tilda Swinton. Yeah. That's that's who their first date that's, was. That's Tilda Swinton's prison name. And Tilda Swinton, oddly enough, does have narcolepsy, so it, it tracks. Okay. <laughs> does she? <laughs> <laughs> but so but it, it sounds like it's something that's believable, doesn't it? Tilda Swinton has narcolepsy. Alright. <laughs> Pass it on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's 
spreading rumours yeah. on the pod. <laughs> if destroyed, still true. Oh, <laughs> not spreading rumours on the pod, oh. sis. Anyway, carry on. The first date went well, but I was his beard for over a year. Oh. And then he got with my best guy friend of four years unknowingly. Oh, but also good for them. I'm glad they're happy. I'm glad they're happy, but like... That at what, sucks. At what cost? Yeah, what? That, that sucks. That really Aww, sucks. Oh, poor baby. I mean, look at fucking uh, Philip Schofield. I know. Best Co- friends, though. Yeah. yeah. So you kind of hope it would have that ending as opposed to her just being like... Fuck you! Yeah, yeah, actually. But at the same time, like, everyone's entitled to their emotions. Yeah. Uh, this one says, I once went on a date when with... When I was a young warthog! <laughs> Tell this all this time. <laughs> <laughs> True as it can tits. I don't, I don't I can only remember this. Tale as old as time. Song as old as rhyme. Shut myself at least. <laughs> I am quite obese. Right. I once went on a date with someone, with Tilda Swinton. I'm Uh just going to say, you know what I mean. (laughs) My brain just went, Taylor's oldest time, Taylor Swift and wine. (laughs) Cry myself to sleep. Oh, we're right in that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh. Wonderful. Continue. You went on a date with Tilda Swinton. I went on a date with uh, Tilda Swinton, someone yep. from Tinder. Yep. Uh, the date was fine, but I heard nothing three months later. Oh. I switched on the TV. Turns out the man I went on a date with was a murderer, and he murdered people from dating sites. I thought, wow, I'm lucky. What's beeping? But then... Oh, sorry, I need to take my birth control. <laughs> So sorry. <laughs> sorry, my, sorry, my vagina's hungry. It's just like, BOM! <laughs> it's like, what is this? Are you the murderer? Am I, am I doing a stand up set at a comedy club? Yeah. BOM! <laughs> uh, okay. okay. No, it ends with saying, I thought, I'm wow, I'm lucky, but then felt sad because I wasn't murder worthy. <laughs> I wasn't stabbing material. Is that signed knob? <laughs> yeah, sad face and then knob. Knob. Oh right, yeah. like calling them a knob. Not just from knob. Yeah. <laughs> Not sincerely, knob it. From the pen, or from the desk of knob. Oh, <laughs> excellent. With thanks, knob well. Imagine though, like <laughs> you are like I can't believe that I had a brush with death. Yeah. But equally, that they just went. Oh, do you know what? I would. I only. It's not worth the sentence. I only. <laughs> I only murder tens. Do you know what I mean? Like, is that what it was? Wow. I only murdered, like, nines and up. The next guy who comes over, you're like, come on over. My floor's really easy to clean. <laughs> I've laid down a tarp and everything. <laughs> I don't have any carpets. <laughs> the walls are really thick. Soundproof, you might say. <laughs> Why don't we have a shower as foreplay after I've shown you where the kitchen drawer is? <laughs> Look, like... here's my collection of knives and <laughs> neighbour's death. <laughs> Messed up. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, my family's dead. No one will know where I've gone. I haven't told anyone where I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy like that. Oh, Jesus. Right, okay. okay. Once asked a girl out on a date, had a great time and went back to mine, where we got busy. Ooh. Mid BJ, she threw up on my dick. I now go soft, anyone tries sucking me off. Oh no, PTSD. Yeah. They have PTSD. PTSD. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, we, sorry we, I'm not we, sorry. That was funny. We shouldn't be laughing at your misfortune. That's so sad. Oh, that is. Imagine not being able to enjoy head. Yeah. Like, never being able to, like, the thrill of a beach. Have you ever loved and lost your blowjob? <laughs> Which was a way to say I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Chundering. Yeah. On the dick. Yeah, like quacking. Yeah. Yeah. Filling up the foreskin like an airplane sick bag. <laughs> Awful. Awful, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, babe. Give up that easy ass. That's so disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand though throwing up on a day, oh, especially if you've had a bit to drink. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. There's just uh, that was like a, that was that was a unlocked. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, like, like at the end of it, their dick just looks like <laughs> like a hefty bag full of sick. Like um, I'm trying to. Like, what are those chompers from Super Mario Brothers? <laughs> just <laughs> full and then on a tiny chain. Oh, okay. Gonna yeah. take, hopefully take it home for the win. Yeah, so the last one. Um, so let's find out what happens. 
Uh, met a guy in Rock City and asked him out. Red flag. He asked to meet for a drink at 3 p.m. Red flag. Ro- rogue time. Rogue time. Rogue time. I don't know. What does that mean? 3 p.m. Rogue time. Rough time. Maybe rough time. Mm. Uh, okay. Maybe maybe it's like ooh they're unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> rogue time. Yeah. I think they're trying to say rogue or, or rouge time. Rouge time. At 3 p.m. We pinch our cheeks. <laughs> 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 Sluts uh, wear rouge, ladies, ladies pinch. pinch. Um, he asked to meet for a drink at 3 p.m. Okay, rogue time. Uh-huh. We're, we're going to go with rogue. Wow. And when he arrived, said that he was sorry he was late, he had to pick up his dead sister's ashes. <laughs> like for the day? <laughs> he had to pick up his dead sister's ashes. She died two days before. Just reschedule. And he decided last minute not to bring them on the date. His dead sister. Good. What? And then it just says, lol, help. So basically, he'd gone, picked up the ashes, thinking, oh, I'll get them on the way to the date. This will be a fun anecdote. And then was like, oh, no, wait, actually, maybe I should take them home first. Maybe and, I shouldn't bring a dead relative. And that's why he date. was late. So I'm kind of like, well, at least he was, he was trying to be courteous. How long have you had this booked for? Because, like, <laughs> if I book something a week ahead... And then my sister dies. Yeah, sure. I'm rescheduling everything. Everything, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going, sorry, I'm going to take a little break from maybe, life. Maybe his sister was a twat. Maybe. Maybe he didn't like... Maybe! <laughs> maybe. Or maybe she'd been dead for years and he just not bothered to pick her up. Oh, right. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> again, another sad call centre story for me. Oh, God. I've got loads. I'm getting so tired of these. Um, yeah, a, a girl... Um, brought in her dead cat's ashes. What? Like show and tell? Yeah, because it was like, oh, did you pick them up on the way into work? And she was like, no, I just brought them in because I want them with me. And she like left them out on the desk. And okay, was like, you're doing that for attention. And was asking people like, oh, do you want to see? Until eventually one of <gasps> one of the team leaders did have to go over and was just like, you need to put your dead cat's ashes yeah. in your bag. Because Mark- even, even better, in your locker. Yeah. <laughs> Because oh, wait, Martin, two deaths down, thought it was coffee, mate. <laughs> and, and now he's developed a taste for it. And now he's rolling around on his back, mewing. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. The, and she's like, oh, good, I can take him home. He <laughs> contains the soul of my dead cat. Wow, oh, me. but would you believe... People in call centres are fucking wild. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I was going to say, would you believe that for another year, slip part worst dates in this slot, we have finished reading all of them. I, do you know what? I don't care if people are like, you need to come up with better ideas. No, we don't. I just think every Valentine's Day, we always do this. I'm fully down for, for that. For as long as we continue for to do For as long as we both though. shall live. Yeah, do yeah. you know what I mean? I think that's a great idea. I think it's a wonderful idea. I love idea. this one. Yeah, it's because lit. Because we have to do very little. No. <laughs> we really do fuck yeah, all of that. Yeah. Although we did we did a duet. We did do I Got we, You Bitch. I, we did I Got You Bitch. Yeah. Yeah. We should do that every year as well. <laughs> but rewrite the lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So something new. Yeah, every time. Yeah, what was the one that you said about when you got COVID, it was such a waste because you already didn't have any fucking taste. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was the one you said? I mean, I said a lot of a things lot. to you. There was one Just that like people say it. you're a pretty bird. Yes! All I see is a giant human turd. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh, wonderful. That was fun. But that was a lot of fun and you... Lucky, lucky people, you got treated to two potties. Two potties. Two potties. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to put the second like part de out. Maybe like the following month. Following. <laughs> You're like, oh, I want a month off from you. Yeah, can. I've done my job. I'm probably going to put them out like one week after the other. Like when we did the Q&A for 50 episodes. Q&A and, it, and, and, and we were like, oh, that's not been very long. And then I was like, oh my fucking God, we were talking for about two hours. <laughs> hey, hey. Where was your Don't worry room? about it. I get lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just haven't had sex in a really long time. I'm a virgin. I've never even seen a man's tender. Virgin on the ridiculous. <laughs> you piece of shit. Oh, I'm pre-coming blood. <laughs> <laughs> so, until next time, my gorgeous darlings. Uh, as always, please uh, like and comment and share. 
Uh, oh, subscribe to our Patreon if you want to see more content. <laughs> like, comment, comment and, and subscribe. subscribe. We've made, recently made a very generous withdrawal from the PayPal account for all of the Patreons, and it felt lovely. It's great. Because it's the most money that we've ever made for doing this podcast. Yes. Like, l- legit. Bear in mind, we do, like, for we... Offer it for two pounds a month, yeah, and then we'll yeah, just yeah. we'll just forget about it until we don't, mm. and then we're like, oh, there's stuff in there. So yeah, if you want to contribute to our joy, yeah, please, please do, do. because we... otherwise, this also will come back, <laughs> as will this also. <laughs> As always, this has been my favourite worst day ever. Miss gorgeous Marilyn Sane, everybody. You. And as always, this has been my dumpster baby, <laughs> Nana Arthur. I do look like I was left in a bin at prom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go now. My course is sticking into my ribs. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Drag Podcast. Can I take my tits off now? You absolutely can. I'm sweaty.